Happy Tag Tuesday and welcome back to Drinking by Myself. Today I'm going to be doing a tag that I've been really enjoying watching on other people's channels. I wasn't tagged in it but I watched Harriet Rosie do it and I really liked it. The original one was created by A Wandering Mind and I will link to her channel below. It's all about bookshelves and how you organise your bookshelf, which is something that I always really love looking at people's houses. So I'm going to give you a glimpse into mine. Question number one is how many bookshelves do you have? And I currently have three bookshelves, two big main ones in the main room, through there, in the living room, and then one TBR shelf in my bedroom. Question number two is how many books are on your bookshelves? And I really just don't know. I haven't counted and I don't want to count. Um, but I kind of counted along one shelf and then like times it by the number of shelves. So I think... If that maths works, I have a little under 400 books, maybe like 360 books. That could be totally, totally wrong, but it's somewhere roughly around there, I think. Question number three, how do you organize your books? So I've recently rearranged them. I did have rainbow shelves for a little bit because I thought they were pretty, but currently I do them alphabetically. Question number four, what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? And I will go and get it. I don't know which one's the oldest, but I'm pretty certain that I do. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get it. This is a really old, upside down, <laughs> 1923 edition that old, <laughs> um, of The Watsons by Jane Austen, which you may know is her unfinished book, but here the ending has been imagined for her by Elle Alton, who was my great-great-grandmother, great-great-aunt, don't really know, related to me. I've never read it, which is terrible, but yeah, that's an old book that I have. Question five is what is the newest book on your bookshelf? Probably, I don't have it here, I left it at work, it's probably Flawed. It's a collaborative novel with seven UKYA authors. Really cool concept. I took a proof of that from work because I'm going to read it and we're going to do a video about it on book break. So it's probably the newest book that I have acquired, but it's still on my desk, so I can't show it to you, so it's... Question number six, what is the longest book on your bookshelf? I know what this is without a doubt, give me one second. The longest book on my bookshelf is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, and this is one that I'm reading for my book club. Up until this, I think the longest book I read was House of Leaves, which was like 707 pages. This is 720, so it just sneaks in there and beats it. Um, but the writing is this small. So it's if it was normal writing, it would probably be like 1,500 pages. So that's long. Question number seven, what is the shortest book on your bookshelf? I don't know. I'm doing so much standing up in this video. Give me a second. I found it. It's this. <laughs> it's this book, Why You're So Awesome, that my sister gave me and she like filled out all the reasons that I'm awesome, like, <laughs> yeah, no, you're not going to get any of these, they're all <laughs> inside jokes, but yeah, that's a really short, cute little book, and it's on my bookshelf. Question number eight is what is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? Well, I have a really large collection of thrillers, because I love thrillers, like psychological, domestic thrillers, just find them so fun. Technically, like, the biggest section is just my general fiction, and that is the majority of what I read, is just, like, contemporary literary fiction but if I had a particular genre it's definitely thrillers they have their own shelf it's like absolutely packed full that shelf I'm gonna need to spread onto a second shelf and I just I really like them I can't resist them I always pick them up question nine have you done a bookshelf tour no I haven't um and I don't really understand the appeal of bookshelf tours I, I love looking at people's bookshelves I think it's so so interesting but I don't want to look at like every single book and is that what a bookshelf tour has to be, like where you draw out each individual book? Because that just, A, would take me way too long to film, and B, I have never made it to the end of watching someone else's, because it's just too long. What I would like to do and watch is just like more general bookshelf tours. Just being like, this is what I keep on this shelf, and la la la. I'll probably do that in this video for a later question where it asks me to show you a bookshelf tour. So, um, no, I haven't done a bookshelf tour, but I will have done by the end of this video. Question number 10 is to go on a random number generator and then find the book that corresponds with that number and talk about it. I'm gonna do that, but here's the thing. We estimated that I have like 400 books. What if it says like 280, like a big number in the middle that I can't easily count from each side. I'm gonna say minimum one, maximum, let's say 360, because I don't think I have quite 400 books. Generate, <laughs> what did I just say? It's generated 255. I'm gonna count 105 from the end of my bookshelf, because I'm smart like that. 
I fell over. So lol, the 105th book from the end of my bookshelf is Why Does My Dog Do That? by Sophie Collins. <laughs> I've got a whole section that I was like counting through like oh it's gonna stop somewhere in here um, of dog books that we bought when we were getting our dog for the first time because we wanted to like get it right. Be good dog parents. I remember actually thinking this was a really good one because we got loads, some better than others. And this one, it's like things that you notice your dog doing and you're like what are you doing? Why does my dog move away when I try to hug him? Why does my dog rush forward and lick my face when he's scolded? It just like teaches you about the behavior and stuff. So yeah, so this, this book is actually really cute. Cool, 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 cool. Question 11, do you have any fan merch or other decorations on your bookshelf? Not really, very little. I have precisely two postcards. One I've had for like two years now and one I just had for like a week. I've got this whole like set of Jane Austen quote postcards, um, but this was one that I just really liked, so I stuck on my bookshelf. I will not say your mulberry trees are dead, but I'm afraid they are not alive. Classic Jane. She said that in a letter in 1811 on May the 31st, which is tomorrow when I'm filming this, but not when you're watching it, so that's irrelevant. So that's one little poster that I have stuck up on my bookshelf, and then the other, um, Angelica just gave me when she went to Bath, this a little drawing of Marianne, who's like my favorite Jane Austen character because she's the worst, but I just like really relate to her because I'm also the worst. In her eyes, which were very dark, there was a life, a spirit, an eagerness that could hardly be seen without delight. So that's the decorations on my bookshelf. Other than that, it's really just books. And also like random candles and like tubes of lip balm that I've just put down there and then forgotten to ever take away. Okay, question 12 is to show us your bookshelf. So I'm gonna do a really quick little tour of my bookshelves. So this is my TBR bookshelf. It used to take up four whole shelves and I've gradually got it down to two and a half. Winning! These are my general fiction shelves, organized alphabetically by author. And underneath that I have my classics, which is mainly Jane Austen books, I have to admit I've got so many copies of Jane Austen books. And then next to those are my childhood books, really old little books I've taken with me from my childhood bedroom, including my favorite fave, Ella Enchanted. And then right at the edge I just have a little collection of cute little books, like that one from my sister, stuff like that. And then at the very bottom is my collection of psychological thrillers, which you can see is absolutely packed. I'm going to have to start stacking them on top of each other if I get any more. On the other side of the room is my non-fiction. Those are still organised by Rainbow. RG has his own little TBR pile down there, and we've also got little comic books like Peanuts and stuff. And then all of my series. So we've got the whole Harry Potter collection, Series of Unfortunate Events, my little Winnie the Pooh books, and Bras and Broomsticks, which no one but me has read but they're great. The Ian Banks books belong to RG. And finally, we have a couple of coffee books, and those are piled on top of my YA collection. My YA collection is maybe in need of a little love. As you can see, this bookshelf bit is a little bit crowded with other random things. And question 13 is to tag someone. Um, so, I would really love to see um, Angelica Kofa's bookshelf. And I would like to see possibly Literate's bookshelf. So I tag you to do this. And I would like to see um, Lauren and the Books and Jean Bookish Thoughts bookshelf. So I tag both of you as well. So that's it for me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know how you arrange your bookshelves. And of course, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Friday, as well as bonus videos like this one. See you next time.